So we have to realize the circuit that satisfies this function y equals not a, not b, not c, plus not a, b, not c, plus a, b, not c, plus a, not b, not c, plus not a, b, c. So if we had to realize this circuit in just one way, we would have used a NOR port, which is drawn like this. Then this port has five inputs, the first one, the second one, the third, the fourth, and the fifth. So we use five inputs. One, two, three, four, and five. Then each input has a single end port. So that realizes the product between those terms. So the first end port, the second one, the third, the third, and the fifth. Then we connect the lines with the ports. Then we consider the three terms, A, B, and C. So the second one is B and the third one is C. And then we draw the inputs. So we have not A, not B, not C. So not A, not B, and not C. And this is the first port. Then we have not A, B, not C. So not A, B, and not C. And this is the second one. Then we use the third one, A, B, not C. So A, B, not C. And we have, this is the third port. Then we have a, not B, not C. So it's A, not B, and not C. And this is the fourth one. Then we have not A, B, and C. So not A, B, and C. And they go directly in. So we needed a total of one port, which is the first one, then two, three, four, five, and then the other input ports for a total of 15. So we have to use 15 ports to realize this circuit. So how can we realize the same circuit using the last number of ports and getting the same outputs? We can use Carnot's map. We simply draw a chart, which in our case is gonna be a four by two chart. So one, two, three, and four by two, in which we report A and B signals. And every slot is adjacent to each other. So we have zero, 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 one, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, and 1 for the C. Then we write every term of the sum and we report it in every slot. So the first one is not A, not B, not C, which corresponds to 0, 0, and 0. So we use the first slot, which is 0, 0 for A and B, and 0 for C. We represent it using a 1 in each slot. So the second one is not A, B, not C. And the values are 0, 1, 0. 
so we occupy the second slot then so we have the first one and the second one then for the third term it's a b not c so we have one one and zero so we write it in the third slot which corresponds to one one for a and b and a zero for c so we are the third term then for the fourth one we have a b not b not c so it's a one zero and zero so we occupy the fourth slot which is one zero and zero then for the last term we have and not a b and c so it's a zero one and one so we occupy the slot zero one for a and b and the one for c then we have to do groups and we have to make sure that they are multiple of two so the first one is gonna be this one which includes four terms and the second one is gonna include two terms they have to be as big as possible but with the limitation of the multiple of two so we write those down we have y equals so we use the values of a b and they both appear in 0 and 1 so we do not write them we just write c which is always a not c then we have the second one we have to realize a sum the second one is 0 1 and the C appears in both 0 and 1 so we just have to write a which is always a not a and B which is always a positive B we do not write C because we have it in both 0 and 1 so if we had to draw this function we would use a NOR port which realizes the sum of the two terms and gives us y equals not a b plus not c then we have two inputs we have a product gate so it's an end and to realize it we consider the value a b and c so we have not a and then b then the last one is a not c so we just write it at the beginning so it's, an, it's a not c and we have it so we use the total of four ports compared to the 15 that we did before so it's a really simple circuit now and it's less likely to be broken